Hi, I'm Wahoo, and I have a fur coat. Do you have a fur coat? Where do we stand on fur coats nowadays? Because it used to be no fur, no fur, faux fur. But now, the planet is dying. Oh, it's kind of... Mm, I mean, I guess you can have fur as long as you like... If it's like thrifted. This is thrifted, but I don't know if it's like real fur. I don't think it would be real fur, right? How can you tell? I think it's too shiny to be real fur. I don't know how it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> this is not a podcast. <laughs> this is not a podcast. I was about to just talk for 20 minutes straight. Hmm. Hi. Welcome to another poetry Saturday with your host, Wahoo. Who is me? I'm, I'm the host. I'm the only one here. The only one here. Okay. Um, how are you? How's your week been? How's your Friday? Good? good? Alright. Good. Today I'm going to be reading... Oh my god. John Milton. Paradise Lost. This is an excerpt. Oh, I guess an extract. Are you guys ready to feel superior? You ready to get your, your, your superiority complex? Yeah. Yeah, we're reading John Milton. You know, the classic writer. He wrote Paradise Lost. And it's like 2,000 pages. And it's a classic. Well, you have to read it. Shut up. I'll just read the excerpts. We'll see. We'll see after this. Okay? We'll, let's all decide after this if we're going to read Paradise Lost. Okay? So sit down, relax, and just... Let your mind wander. Uh, just kind of hold these images in your head. The best to the best of your abilities. And yeah, just relax, man. Just take it easy. Take it easy. <clears throat> this is Satan, apparently. <sighs> Him the almighty power hurled headlong flaming from the eternal sky with hideous ruin and combustion down to the bottomless perdition. There to dwell in the mental adamantine chains and penal fire who durst defy the omnipotent arms nine times the space that measures day and night to mortal men he with his horrid crew lay vanquished rolling in the fiery gulf confounded through though immortal but his doom reserved him to more wrath for now the thought both of lost happiness and lasting pain torments him round he throws his baleful eyes that witness huge affliction and dismay mixed with obdurate pride and steadfast hate at once as far as angels can he views the dismal situation waste and wild a dungeon horrible on all sides round as one great furnace flamed yet from those flames no light but rather darkness visible served only to discover sights of woe regions of sorrow doleful shades where peace and rest can never dwell how hope never comes that comes to all but torture without end still urges and a fiery deluge fed with ever-burning sulfur unconsumed. Such place eternal justice had prepared for those rebellious. Here the prison ordained in utter darkness and their portion set as far removed from God and light of heaven as far from the center thrice to the utmost pole. Oh, how unlike the place from whence they fell. Is this the region? This the soil, the clime, said the lost archangel. This the seat that we must change for heaven. This mournful gloom for that celestial light. Be it so, since he who is now sovereign can dispose and bid what shall be right, farthest from him is best. Whom reason hath equaled forth, force hath made supreme above his equals. Farewell, happy fields, where joy forever dwells. Hail, horrors, hail, infernal world, and thou profoundest hell. Receive thy new possessor, one who brings a mind not to be changed by place or time. The mind is its own place, and itself can make heaven of hell, a hell of heaven. What matter where, if I be still the same? What I should be, all but less than he, whom thunder hath made greater. Here at last we shall be free. The Almighty hath not built here for this envy, will not drive us hence. Here we may reign secure, and in my choice to reign is worth ambition, though in hell, better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. That's where that 
Culture. You know what? I hate to say it. I I really hate to say it. Do I? Because Satan sounds baller as hell. That's a man I would follow, you know, into battle. I don't know. He just has that chutzpah that you look for in a leader. Better to rule in hell than to serve in heaven. You better stop before I make that my life motto. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. <sighs> wow. That was powerful. That was powerful. What was the line? Receive thy new possessor, one who brings a mind not to be changed by place or time. Damn, he just called God fake. He just called God the Almighty fake as hell. He said, your boy switch up. I don't. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. But that sounds actually good. I'm not I'm not really a religious person, but I am a curious person. So um this is one of the longer videos. Thank you so much for tuning in this Saturday. Um for this poetry Saturday. I've been your gracious host well. And you have been kind enough to let me talk. Um see you next Saturday. And this Pelham will be in the description below, transcribed for your little eyes. I think that's all. I've talked long enough. Bye-bye.